हॅलो एव्हरीवन वेलकम टू दिस सेशन आय एम दीपाली वाडकर वर्किंग ॲज अन असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर ॲट डब्ल्यू आय टी सोलापूर इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द सिस्टम पार्ट थ्री ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस व्हिडिओ लेक्चर स्टुडंट विल बी एबल टू क्लासिफाय टाईम वेरियंट अँड टाईम इन वेरियंट सिस्टम्स ॲज वेल ॲज स्टेबल अँड अनस्टेबल सिस्टम्स अँड इनवर्टिबल अँड नॉन इनवर्टिबल सिस्टम्स ओके सो दीज आर द कंटेंट्स द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द सिस्टम्स वील ऑल्सो डिस्कस द टाईम वेरियंट टाईम इन वेरियंट सिस्टम देन द स्टॅबिलिटी ऑफ द सिस्टम्स अँड वील डिस्कस द इनवर्टिबल अँड नॉन इनवर्टिबल सिस्टम्स सो लेटस सी विच सिस्टम्स आर कॉल्ड ॲज अ टाईम वेरियंट अँड टाईम इन वेरियंट The time variant systems are those systems in which the input and output characteristic uh, of these systems vary with the time okay so if the input varies with the time then the output characteristics also varies uh, with that time then in that case that system is called as a time variant systems and if the input and output characteristic of the system does not vary with the time there is a no effect on this uh output characteristic uh, of the system uh, with respect to time change in the input signal then that systems are called as a time invariant system okay so time invariant systems are those in we, uh, those systems in which the input output characteristic uh, does not changes with respect to time okay so the condition for time invariant system is y of t comma capital t which is equal to y of t minus t okay and the condition for time variant system is y of t comma capital t is not equal to y of t minus t okay so let us see uh, what is this y of t comma t is it is nothing but transform of x of t minus t means change in a input okay and y of t minus t it is the output change okay so if the input change uh, is equal to the output change then that system is a invariant system okay and if the change in a input is does not equal to the change in the output then that system is called as a time variant systems okay uh, similarly in case of discrete time signals the condition for time invariant system is y of n comma k which is equal to y of n minus k and time variant system y of n uh, comma k which is not equal to y of n minus k okay so we know that y of n comma k is equal to transform of x of n minus k okay so which is the uh, change in the input and y of n minus k it is the output change okay so uh, this is the condition for time invariant and time variant in case of discrete time systems let us see uh, the example which is related to time variant systems y of t is equal to t into x of t okay so in this case y of t is nothing but what the transform of x of t means input okay so transform of x of t input signal okay so this is we can say it as a t into x of t now the output due to delayed input is let's see the change in output due to uh, delayed input okay so here the y of t comma uh, capital t which is equal to transform of x of t minus t so this uh, if the input is delayed by this capital t then the output is equal to t into x of t minus capital t okay now if the output is delayed by the capital t then we get y of t minus t which is equal to t minus capital t uh, into x of t minus capital t so here if we compare these two okay so y of t minus t and uh, if you compare y of uh, t comma t so in both cases what happens here the uh, y of t comma t is a t into x of t minus t and y of t minus t is equal to t minus t into x of t minus capital t okay so if you observe this uh, equation these are not equal okay so we can say that this system is a time variant system 
now the time invariant system the system itself does not changes with the time okay so that systems are called as a time invariant okay so suppose the x of t uh, input to the systems and uh, the output from the uh, system is a y of t then if we apply the delay of uh, capital t uh, seconds then uh, the output uh, the input to the system is x of t minus t okay so this will the input signal and the output from the system uh, for the same uh, system it is y of t minus capital t this is the output from the system okay so uh, these type of systems are called as a time invariant systems now let us see the example y of t is equal to e raised to x of t okay so in this case y we can say that y of t is equal to transform of x of t which is equal to e raised to x of t okay now the output due to delayed input okay so we'll see the output due to delayed input it is y of t comma t is equal to transform of x of t minus t which is equal to e raised to uh, x of t minus t okay so put uh, t is equal to here t minus t okay so if you substitute here uh, we get uh, this equation okay now if the output is delayed by t okay so delay, uh, delay output by t then what will happen y of t minus t is equal to e raised to x of t minus t okay now if you observe these two equation this y of t minus t and uh, y of t comma t if we observe these two equation then from this uh, we can say that y of t comma t is equal to y of t minus capital t okay so uh, this uh, satisfies the condition for time invariant system so we can say that this system is a time invariant now the linear time variant systems means what if this uh, system is both linear and time variant okay so if they satisfy the condition for linearity as well as time variant then it is called as time variant system ltv systems okay if the system is uh, both uh, linear as well as time invariant then that system is called as a linear time invariant system it is lti systems okay now uh, the next classification is a stable and unstable system in case of stable system a uh, system is says, uh, said to be stable only when the output is bonded for a bonded input okay and unstable for bonded input if the output is uh, unbonded in that system then it is said to be unstable okay so let us see the example here uh, for a bo bonded input this uh, system produces the output which is bonded okay so uh, if uh, for a bounded uh, signal the uh, amplitude is a finite okay so here in this case the amplitude is a finite so uh, we can say this is the bounded output okay so such type of systems are called as a stable systems an unstable system means what here for a bonded input if the output is a unbonded okay so here the amplitude is a uh, infinite for uh, infinite time okay so this amplitude is a uh, uh, increasing okay and it is the infinite for a infinite time it is not bonded so uh, in this case uh, the for a bonded input this system uh, produces the unbonded output such type okay so such systems are called as a unstable systems then the invertible and non invertible systems the system is called as a invertible if it produces a distinct output signals uh, for a distinct input signal okay in case of invertible system if the input x of t is a recovered at the output of the system okay then such type of system are called as a invertible system okay so here a, x of t is input given to the first system its output is a y of t if we apply y of t to the second systems then output is x of t so such type of systems are called as a invertible systems okay out input is recovered at the output of these systems okay 
so these systems are a uh, invertible systems so let us see the example here uh, two systems are cascaded okay input to the first system is x of t okay and output from the uh, first system is a uh, r into x of t now this y of t is a uh, input applied to the second system okay the second system its output is which is equal to uh, 1 upon r into y of t but y of t value is a uh, r into x of t okay so if you substitute this value here then we get uh, x of t r r get cancelled and x of t okay so output from the second system it is a x of t which is nothing but input okay so uh, here the input is recovered at the output okay so such type of systems are nothing but invertible systems non invertible systems let us see the non invertible system one of the example here the y of t is equal to cos into x of t okay so for the input signal separated by uh, 2 pi okay the system gives the same output so uh, in this case we cannot say uh, that the uh, input is recovered at the output okay so such type of systems are called as a non invertible system okay so from this we have seen Uh, the invertible and non invertible system okay so invertible system means the input is recovered at the uh, output of the system so systems are uh, invertible systems and non invertible system means here if the input is not recovered at the output then such systems are non invertible systems these are the references Thank you